now what is up everybody my name is mike brown aka review king mb and i am still doing my 31 days of horror movie reviews but this time i've decided to go to yet another horror franchise this time the omen the original the omen it was a 1976 film it was directed by richard donner and the plot the plot is we see this couple, the Thorns, who were about to have a baby, but upon delivery, the, the baby was stillborn. So the priest and the husband, they decide off on their own to not tell the mother uh, to adopt a baby from the church and just keep it hush hush. Not cool, not cool at all. So four or five years later, this kid grows up, Damien, what a great name to call him, and and some weird stuff starts to happen. Some freaky stuff, just some messed up stuff concerning uh, around this kid. The nanny kills herself, these black dogs show up, the new nanny's acting weird, and, and just some messed up stuff. So... Uh, the husband, the father, he realizes, he finds out that this kid is the Antichrist. So he, of course, comes to the realization that he has to kill this kid himself. Now, what I think of the omen is, wow, I, this is my very first time watching the omen. This is one of the many movies that I would hear about for years and years and how crazy it was. And, and you go into it finally, like I am now and thinking, all right, how much is it going to live up to that? It did. I was not expecting it to be as crazy or as fucked up as it was right off from the start. Uh, our main character is Robert Thorne, played by Gregory Peck. When him and the priest sort of come up with this plan, this idea to lie and, and adopt this kid without telling the mother, I, I just was like, oh no, that is messed up and messed up for so many reasons. And I should hate this guy. I should. Uh, Gregory Peck, I, I, I did think was fine at the beginning, but I think thought I would have liked maybe more of a connection between him and Damien so that when shit hits the fan when you find out that this kid's the product of Satan that it would be more of an impact but even with all that when stuff did hit the fan he did raise his level up he did get super emotional into it because how could you not right the mother played by Lee Remick she went through a lot I probably felt the most bad for her just so many things so many reasons even the moment where she gets pregnant again but she's so incensed by that point over Damien and how he's acting and she doesn't want any more kids she's like no I want an abortion I want all the stuff and then when Damien like a dick knocks her off the hallway and she falls down and sure the way it was shot was <laughs> You know, it's the 70s. You had to make it try to look real, although it didn't in the fall. But still, fine. She loses the baby. It's just, it's so messed up. And then what happens to her later on, I, I don't want to talk about it. But it's just, it's bad. And, and let me talk about the nanny. The first nanny who hangs herself at the birthday party. That was fucking weird. When I first saw the scene of when the mother takes Damien away from her and then she stops and stares at the dog that's at the tree and they're just staring at each other, I laughed. At first, I laughed. I was like, what the fuck is that? What's going on here? And then she killed herself. Then she hung herself and she seemed like she was in a trance of like, this is for you, Damien. And then kills herself in front of a bunch of kids. Kids are staring. And then I rewound that scene and I rewatched it four or five times, like her staring at this dog, because I was trying to figure out what the fuck happened to her. What happened to this nanny? Did she get possessed by a dog? Who are these dogs? Who do they represent? Are they demons? Are they disciples of Satan? Uh, what effect do they have? How did they do that to her? It was so freaky. By the third or fourth time I watched the scene, I it just it creeped me out. It now creeps me out more and more, especially to see where it led 
to and and I just I don't know it might be the creepiest scene in the movie obviously you have the priest who's desperate to talk to the father and tell him what's going on but then he gets impaled and then the the winds that was going on there I do like David Warner who shows up first you see him as a photographer taking pictures left and right in the background of all of these scenes then he finally talks to uh, Robert and, and, and he's telling him what he's been researching and, and all of his connections. They figure out that the, the baby was born on June 6th and 6 a.m. 666, the sign of the beast and all of this stuff. And, and those scenes are freaky. They are. They're freaky. They're disturbing. The way how that character gets killed by getting his head decapitated. It felt like a scene right out of Final Destination just 20 years before. It was it was tough. <laughs> It was tough to watch all of this stuff happen. The brand new nanny who shows it shows up. What's her name? Mrs. Baylock. She was fucking weird. From day one, she was weird. That was your warning, parents. You should have known when this woman was acting so freaky, when she was so desperate to meet up with Damien and, 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 and talk to him and spend all that alone time with him. You should have known that she was weird. When the black dog shows up in your house and you tell her to get rid of it, and the next day the dogs are still there, like, come on, parents. <laughs> you know, show some more urgency. Fire the bitch. Get her out. Um, I don't know. Uh, and the thing with Damien is that he is a child actor, or at least the actor playing Damien. And so I, I didn't think the kid was all that great as far as trying to be evil and menacing. He just was quiet for a lot of it, so I couldn't really gauge him. Maybe that was the point. The point is that you're not supposed to tell what's in this kid's head. Uh, but I couldn't tell if he's innocent in all of this. If he... How much does he realize that he is the Antichrist? How much does he realize that all of this evil stuff is his fault? Or is he doing that on purpose? Or or is he is there a side of him that is innocent? We don't know. The scene where the characters go to the grave site and they dig up the grave and they find the, the bones of the child that they had five years ago and, and realize that the church must have killed the real baby. It wasn't stillborn. It was this whole plot and plan to kill the original kid and then give them Damien, let them raise him so that he could become what he's supposed to... What? And then the dog's attacking him at the gravesite. This movie is so crazy. It's so insane. I... I don't know. This is going to be one of those films that's going to be stuck in my head for a while. It's definitely one of those original classic horror movies that still holds up, still has those moments of just being disturbing as all hell. The score, the music by Jerry Goldsmith is, yeah, haunting and definitely elevated some of those scenes as well. More, what more can I say? about this movie it's freaky it's insane i'm going to continue to watch the sequels they probably won't be as good i fully admit that but that's okay because this first one was good enough <laughs> so guys let me know in the comments below what you think of the omen the original do you like it do the sequels get any better or worse uh, the remake should i do the remake as well thanks for watching like comment subscribe later Trimming the bills, I'd have been through it all, let me trickle a tear. In case you didn't know, I was living sarcastic. A motherfucking monster, something Jurassic. Half a rapper, little tie up, head in plastic. Swamping in skits, switch, fuck them with raptors. Kill them and I drill them and I'm sipping on the four. Oh, listen by a whole entire motherfucking torso. Oh, what a rush. Sniffing some more blow. Let the bitch bleed and I'm making a porno. I'ma keep it going a few times before I pass out.